Why, hello. I was instructed to carry out story time protocols, but you are the first sign of life I've seen in quite some time. If you would be so kind as to let me tell you a story, it would bring me no greater pleasure. You will stay and listen, no? Okay. Are we ready? There was once a young girl named Little Red Riding Hood, whose grandmother was sick, so she made up a basket of goodies to deliver to her. Now, Little Red's Miss Nanny advised her to stay on the path and not take any shortcuts, because Miss Nannies are programmed for children's safety. But it was starting to get late, and Little Red Riding Hood chose to take a shortcut so that she could get to her grandmother in time. A big bad wolf saw the girl and started following her. Suddenly, he appeared in front of her and asked where she was going. I'm going to my sick grandmother's house on the other side of the forest with this basket of goodies, the naive girl replied. The wolf suggested that Little Red Riding Hood pick some nice flowers to bring to her and showed her a nearby meadow where she could do that. She thanked him, and while Little Red Riding Hood was picking flowers, the wolf ran off ahead to her grandmother's house. The wolf swallowed the grandmother whole. He disguised himself in her clothes and waited in her bed for Little Red Riding Hood to arrive. When Little Red Riding Hood finally arrived, she went inside to see her grandmother. But something seemed strange to the girl. What a deep voice you have, she said to her grandmother. The better to greet you with, my dear, replied the wolf. What big eyes you have, said Little Red Riding Hood. The better to see you with, replied the still hungry wolf, looking at Little Red Riding Hood. But what big teeth you have, grandmother, said Little Red. The better to eat you with, replied the wolf. Then he jumped up and swallowed Little Red Riding Hood too. Then he curled up and went to sleep. Just then, the Miss Nanny burst through the door. She cut open the wolf's belly with her saw, freeing Little Red Riding Hood and her grandmother. The end. Remember that Miss Nanny is programmed to guarantee the safety of children.